I felt like um, how I was describing to you earlier how the, the album is just a complete picture. That's how I feel, you know, it's got body to me is like the physical aspect of the music, just like the actual, like the dance songs and, and the energy. And um, mind is the, the part of me that's paying attention to the current issues and everything. And soul is like the, just the purely emotional songs, like, like this song, Losing Myself, and um, a few other ballads on it. And I, I just think that those, I, I don't know, I've seen those three words together before, and I, I just always, that, that to me just sums up people in general, you know, and, and all, all those three things are important, you know. I don't like listening to mindless dance records. And, and on the other hand, I don't like listening to records that are all serious and political and issue-oriented, you know, or on all ballad album. I think everyone likes a combination and, and a complete picture. I want to have a lot of fun with this album because that's making this album was so spontaneous and fun. It was like I got together with um, Sterk and Rogers, their the group Rhythm Syndicate. We got together and I had already basically had all the songs for the album chosen already. And I thought, well, let's see if we could come up with anything better. And we got together and in two days we wrote six songs, did the basic arrangements. We went into the studio the next week, did all the vocals in a day. We did all this stuff and you listen back and it had such a great energy to it. And I want that to to be how the videos are too. I want to really have fun with them. It's a song called Losing Myself and it's how you could fall in love with someone and get so wrapped up in them that you lose complete sight of yourself. And it's like, if you ever know anyone who is like dating someone and you, you kind of going, what happened to Jack? I mean, is he in love or what? Like, they're just acting totally not like themselves, you know? So for the video, we were thinking, what would be the thing that something I would do or a way I would act that would be totally opposite of how I am in real life? And so we decided to do a thing with me as a striptease artist. Now, in, in my mind, um, the storyline I kind of have in my head um, is that the guy in the video is like the club owner, you know, but you could watch it and get anything you want from it. You could think, well, maybe she's just trying to be sexier for him or, you know, whatever. Um, you know, I'm doing for this guy, and that that's the basic that's the basic gist of it. You know, and, and there's just a lot of other performance footage, and it's really to show the um, the pleasure and the pain that comes with being in love, like that, like this is so great, but oh my God, what have I got myself into, kind of thing. And that's what the video is meant to show. I think so. I think um, especially like when we go to do this video and stuff. I think that. On the acting side, I, had, I got a lot of experience because at the end of a scene, you know, you really can't break character. There are these people applauding, and in my opening night, I had like 100 people there to see me, 150 people there to see me or something. So they were all hooting and hollering, you know, and I'm at, I'm at the end of a very sad song or a death scene or something, right? And it's like you just, you can't break. So it, it definitely makes you a stronger actress, you know. Um, and also vocally, vocally I got stronger because I ended up doing voice practice, you know, religiously um, to keep my voice sounding as good as it could possibly sound. A lot of good things came out of it and all those things show up on the album. I picked him solely on the photographs I've seen him take and En Vogue's Never Gonna Get It video. Because I, I had seen En Vogue perform and I had seen them, you know, lots of their videos and I felt like it wasn't until that video that they were truly captured. Like they. He just really captured the uniqueness about them and the strength, you know, and, and that's what I like because I feel like as a performer um, I'm very strong and sometimes my videos show only one side of me and I really wanted to get the strong side across and I, I thought he'd be the best person for it and we met him and it instantly clicked and here we all are. <laughs> yes, I want to show all sides of myself in this video. and. Um, <laughs> you could take that quite literally if you consider the fact that I'm playing a striptease artist. Um, <laughs> but no, in, in all seriousness, everyone's got that sexier side that kind of comes out when they're head over heels in love, you know, and they've also got that real vulnerable side. And so, yeah, I wanted to show all of, all of that stuff. Yeah, it, you would think it's kind of funny to think that you'll find a song that I co-wrote with Carol Bayer Sager and then... You'll find me working with uh, Phil Ramone, and you find me working with Sterk and Rogers, and and they're all very different. But the thing that they all have in common is that they're very, all very strong musicians. They're all very music oriented, and they're all um, very spontaneous and creative. And somehow it all worked, you know. And Elliot Wolf also, who's very creative, um, somehow 
somehow it wasn't a, it wasn't difficult to like put the songs in an order that felt like it all flowed. It just it definitely sounds like it was all the same project because, like I said, a lot of it happened very spontaneously and very quickly. And um, you know, I think it's got it's hard to describe what it is that that links all the songs together, but there's definitely something, definitely an element of you know all the writers and, and myself. Prejudices of any kind, probably. Um, you get that from, you know, from race, from religion, um, you know, people's sexuality, everything. You know, every people always look at stereotypes. I mean, and it's, I think, you know, there are breakthroughs starting to be made at this point, but it's still not enough. There are still so many people who are really closed-minded, and you know, even. Even like there, there are certain stereotypes that come with being an entertainer, being a female singer, being a, just prejudices of all kind. I'd like, I'd like people to maybe look deeper into a person and see them for what they are. Not yet. I hope that I'll be able to go on tour um, in the summer. A large one. <laughs> I I would really love to to get out there and get everywhere. I mean, it's always seemed like um, every time I've gone on tour, I've had some kind of deadline. Like um, I couldn't go out for as long as I had hoped, or there's always something at the end. But now it's like we've got this clear time space, basically. And I would just like to really use it to get out there and perform. Um, I'm just itching to perform the stuff in this album. I'm really excited to get out there and do it. Really to um, focus on, like I said, this album. And um, I'm just so excited about it that I, I really just want to put all my time and energy into letting people know what it's all about and, and getting out there and performing it. And um, when I come to Japan, I want to get some good shabu shabu. That's, that's one objective. <laughs>